Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros, and it is that time of the month. We are giving away a Micro Center sponsored gaming PC. And once again, we are live over on twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros building this thing, and yeah, we're gonna be giving it away. If you're watching this video right now, this PC is already given away. Thanks to Dragonfly for subscribing, uh, but you can enter to win this in the next month, well not this one, another PC in the next month's giveaway because of Micro Center. They're our sponsor, and they are the best place to buy PC hardware in person. Absolutely love all the deals they have, and they're always running some sort of promo. I don't really know which one is going on right now. So check the description down below to see the current promo. It's probably like Bluetooth headphones or something. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, you want to talk about these parts? So for this processor of this system, we have the Ryzen 3 3300X. We actually decided to switch things up a little bit because this is an all AMD build. So we actually have the awesome graphics card that Matt will be talking about going with this processor. But we really think it's a perfect pair. This is like the strongest four core eight thread on the market. Has very, very strong individual cores. So for gaming, this is going to be amazing. For the motherboard, we have this MSI B550A Pro. It is a full-size motherboard and it has lots of expandability options. They have this nice cutout here for all your SATA ports in case you want to use angled SATA connectors. Four slots for RAM. You have two four pin connectors for the CPU. So this thing's basically a fully decked out B550 that's ready to be upgraded, overclocked, whatever you could possibly want to do with it. And for RAM, this is probably no surprise, but we have Crucial Ballistics DDR4. It's a 16 gig kit and it is 3200 megahertz. So really a good speed to go with. You could obviously go with 3600, but you're going to spend a lot more on that. So we really recommend sticking around the 3 to 3200 range just to save yourself some money and it's RGB. And for the storage, we have a one terabyte NVMe M.2 that is an inland brand drive. So you can actually get these from all kinds of places, but it is a micro center brand. We really like them. We've never had a single issue with them. Very fast read and write speeds. Highly recommend them. Now, of course, the most important thing in a gaming PC, the graphics card. This is the PowerColor Hellhound RX 6600 XT. The Hellhound. Uh, this is a great graphics card for 1080p high refresh rate. And really, it's pretty good for 1440p as well, even though AMD mainly advertises it for 1080p. But it's a great graphics card. And we're actually able to get our hands on it with big thanks to Micro Center. So it's going to be a great pair with that 3300X. And for the power supply, once again, we have the power spec 650 watt, 80 plus bronze power supply. Power spec is Micro Center's in house brand, so of course, we're going to be using it for this PC build. And 650 watts is more than enough for this PC uh, with a lot of headroom for upgrades in the future. And last but certainly not least, we have a case from Lian Li. Lee. This is the Land Cool 205 Mesh, which is a mesh case, and I believe it comes with two RGB fans already pre installed. We'll see that once we open this thing up. I really hope so, because giving away a PC with RGB is not good. It's bad, uh, but it has mesh, so good airflow for this PC build. And Lee and Lee makes some really awesome cases, and they have especially done a really good job in making some pretty budget-friendly cases that are really well built. So very excited to open this thing up and put this thing together. Let's see how it performs. All right guys, so we are now doing the benchmark portion of this build. So we have the Ryzen 3300X with the 6600 XT. And as many of you may or may not know, the 3300X is really one of the strongest four core A-threaded processors out there. Um, it's actually stronger than something like the Intel i3-10100, uh, 10100F. It's stronger than any of the previous uh, four core eight threads out there. So that means in pretty much any game out there, the 3300X is actually on par with something 
something like a Ryzen 3600, and it's really even close to something like a 5600X in most games, because most games don't really take advantage of those 6 cores and 12 threads. They just want very strong individual cores. So obviously we have Fortnite loaded up first, and as you can see, um, I mean, we're getting very respectable FPS on performance mode. You can see I just decided to just take myself out there. But yeah, that was performance mode in Fortnite. Overall, we're in perfect. Uh, next, we have Splitgate. And in Splitgate, once again, it really did well. Splitgate actually, like, doesn't have an unlimited frame cap for some reason. I think the th uh, unlimited in their eyes is 360 FPS. So that's why you kind of see us hit, like around 359 360 and then it stops but you can see we have a couple of dips here and there so it's not like it's a perfect 360 anyways um but yeah, overall though did absolutely amazing split gate was completely maxed out 1080p um just like you know fortnite was 1080p but performance mode and uh yeah i mean overall though very smooth gameplay we're actually only playing on a 60 hertz monitor um in this test it's actually a 4k monitor that we downscale but overall it works pretty good it's definitely always fun to look at the actual percentage numbers of something like the 6600 xt and the ryzen 3300 x because you can actually get a visual representation of how much they're actually being used and you can see a game like splitgate it looks like is a little bit more gpu bound especially on higher settings like this um, but you know it's always fun to change settings around and see if it makes certain games become more c CPU dependent or more graphics card dependent. Now a game like Chivalry is definitely a little bit of a more graphics intensive game. I just wanted to throw something in there that has a large amount of players. I think this is like a 60 player server. It's either 32 or 60. Either way though, it's a lot of players. Um, even some AI, there's a lot of elements in this game. We're actually running at 1080p, all high settings. We're not at max, though it co totally could have done max settings. I just wanted to get around the 144 hertz mark, which you can see we're getting close to 144 FPS, but we're at least getting over 100, so we know you'd still get a very smooth gameplay, as you can tell by this. Um, but obviously, we, we could have maxed the game out. We could totally get into 1440p gaming on the 6600 XT. That's kind of what they have in mind, is 1080p and 1440. Obviously, 4K is kind kind of far-fetched, but, you know, if you want to play some lower-end games, you might totally be able to do it. Yeah, I mean, we really barely ever dip down below 100 FPS. I don't even know if I ever actually saw it dip below 100 in this, but, uh, you know, it was definitely an enjoyable experience. I um, mean, a 6600 XT would just be absolutely amazing for um, pretty much any AAA title out there. It can even do some streaming on AAA titles, um, you know, as you can tell, because we'll be doing uh, Warzone here in just a second, and pretty much high settings, uh, 1080p in Warzone with no frame rate cap or anything. You know, we were getting around, I would say like 90 to 140 FPS most of the time. So as you can see here, we're going through all the settings, just showing you guys that I have stuff pretty much set to high. Um, we have like a couple things that are disabled, but for the most part, 1080p, high settings, no frame rate cap. Um, dropping in, you know, we're, we're getting around 80 FPS, which is really solid. Uh, we just tried to drop Superstar to get the hottest drop in the game, and of course nobody landed here, so I had to do a little bit of running around and scouting. But on the ground, you know, with textures loading in and everything, we're hovering around 70 to, I would say, like 85 FPS. Um, once we go inside or, like, look up in the skies and stuff, I'm sure we get much higher FPS. But, you know, if you wanted to get that smooth gameplay experience and be, like, the ultimate streamer, most of the time we're going to be doing pro settings in games where you have pretty much everything turned down or off. But uh, I decided, you know, we kind of go in the middle, try to make the games look really nice while also getting a decent FPS. And you can see we did that here. But, you know, we had a little, little camper situation where... We had a guy sitting up top that had killed a couple people, and I was like, you know what? I gotta put an end to him. So, gotta do the little peek, you know, find out where he's at so I know he's in the corner. And then, boom, here we go. And look at that. It's always so sad when someone camps and they still can't get you. But then it was a very unfortunate turn of events because right after this, I walk out and I get absolutely murked by a camper <laughs> that was staring outside of the window in the building next to me, actually. He might have even came into this building um, and been sitting up there. I'm not really too sure, but uh, he definitely had some camper vibes to him, which you'll see here in a second. But yeah, overall, though, 3300 x 6600 XT, almost a match made in heaven. You can see there's really not any major bottlenecking based on the percentages. Um, they're both, uh, in almost every game, hover very close to each other, which is really good to see. Neither of them are really even being fully utilized in a lot of things. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Okay guys, so we just got done doing some benchmarking on this 3300X with the 6600XT and we can honestly say it is an absolute amazing combo. That 3300X is similar to something like the i3-2100 4-core 8-thread except it is really the strongest 4-core 8-thread on the market and with that 6600XT which is pretty much RTX 3060 level, it does absolutely amazing at 1080p and even 1440p gaming.
If you want to purchase any of the parts in today's video, use the links in the description down below. They are affiliate links and they do help us out. Huge thanks to Micro Center as always for sponsoring this video. And also, huge thanks to LG for sending over these amazing LG monitors that we actually enjoy using for benchmarking. This one here is no exception. It is a beautiful 1440p 144Hz gaming monitor and I almost thought I screwed it up, but it just has a fully adjustable stand that has tilt up and down. It can actually go left to right. It can pretty much do everything you possibly want. So make sure you check that out as well. So once again, thanks to everyone for watching today's video. If you haven't already, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. And hey, in case you guys didn't know, we actually have a lot of different social media aside from YouTube. We stream over on Twitch. We also have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, we have TikTok, we pretty much have everything. So make sure you check all those out because we do post some cool exclusive giveaways. We post a lot of updates on those about these giveaway PCs. So make sure that you're subscribed, followed, favorited, hearted, whatever else you gotta be. See you guys later.